Hello, I'm Robin Michelle with the Bahamas Weekly and GBI Tourism TV. We're standing in the halls here at Ross University in Grand Bahama Island, and what's taking place behind me is a student registration for blood doning here at, with the Public Hospitals Authority on Grand Bahama Island. Students have decided that they'd like to participate and give back to the community, and that's what's taking place here right now. Hello, my name is Stacey O'Brien. I'm a fourth semester medical student here at Ross University, and I am president of a group called Salabia Health Initiative and what we're focused on doing is basically bringing awareness to the local peoples here in Grand Bahama, specifically medical needs, medical issues in the community. And today we are hosting a blood drive and a blood screening at the campus and what we're trying to do is first off help to stock up the blood supplies here at the RAND so that if they have any need in the near future we can be a part of that but also more importantly allow them to screen all of us that they have a list of all of those of us here who are members of the Ross community who are going to be here for a while who will be able to donate in the future so that if they happen to need a typo positive or a B negative blood type they can call on any one of us and we can come out when the need arises and considering blood has a very short lifespan it's very beneficial especially for such a small community to be able to call on us so that they can actually get fresh samples which is really truly ideal rather than have necessarily a large blood bank to actually be able to have fresh blood on call. This event is for the entire Ross community. This includes students, faculty, and staff. And what we're doing is as the, the Ross uh, members come in is we are measuring blood pressure, glucose, and cholesterol, height and weight, getting an idea of their overall health, and they're also typing um, the people as they go through and depending whether or not they need that blood type they're doing some draws today. In an effort to promote health in the community we are doing health screenings so that we can teach the persons about healthy living, eating right, exercising regularly, um, ways in which to lose weight, avoiding obesity and overweight, being overweight. Um, also today in collaboration with Ross University, in addition to screening some of their students, some of their students will also be donating blood to help facilitate in stocking the blood bank at the Ram Memorial Hospital so as to give back to the community. A lot of the students, they, we have been in contact with the student body as far as letting us know if they have donated before, if they know what their blood type is, even though legally everything, everyone is going to be retested here by the members of the Rand Hospital and the health community, the health services. Uh, here at Grand Bahama, they're going to be retesting all of us, but if they know what their blood type is, letting us know that's, that way we could actually help to coordinate, because we understand that the need here is for type O and type B. And so we coordinated to have certain members of the community who were type O and type B to show up so that they can actually donate today, rather than some of the other blood types that are in not as much of a need at the present point in time. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make this an ongoing program. So every semester as new students arrive, they will refresh the list, take off those who have left the island, and replace them with new students. So that it can be an ongoing uh, resource. The Hospital Authority is, seems to be very pleased with um, our program here. We're trying to bridge uh, and create a connection between the Ross community and the community as a whole. I think it's a really great community effort uh, to have Ross University, which is relatively new to the island, to reach out and give back to Grand Bahama Health Services because the students have been working with the Grand Bahama Health Services and they are um, learning through um, wards, the ward work and also in the community at the clinics so this is a great way for them to give back. This is the simulation facility here at Ross University where we can practice different medical procedures that we'll be doing once we get out into our clinical rotations. While no students will be actually drawing blood today, that will be done by staff from the RAND. Um, this is where we practice for when we're ready to uh, do the procedures later. Um, this is one of the simulation arms that we have where we can practice starting uh, IV lines. It's um, just a rubberized skin and you can feel uh, veins underneath. Um, we do it similar to how you would do it on a normal arm, except that we don't have to um, put on a tourniquet to get the veins to pump up since it is a simulated arm. So first we just, as we would with a normal patient, we would clean the area first. This is the same needle that you would actually use on an actual patient.
So this is just another initiative that Ross has taken to become involved in the Grand Bahama community. Stay tuned to the Bahamas Weekly to see what they'll be up to next.